And I think you've been around for about 400 and something of those. So let's kick it off. Henry is going to send it away here at Pizza Hut Stadium. It'll be Joke taking it from his own 14 with Dalvin Cook. Spins back to the inside. And the drive will start at his own 28-yard line. This is a game of serious defensive players. You're looking at the MCS points there. And I'm getting word that these guys are actually going to be competing to see who's going to have that number one seed when we do get to the Madden Bowl. That could come into factor later on. That'll determine, you know, some of your matchups in the Madden oh, yeah. Bowl. And Being that number one seed would be key. And, of course, joke. It's like, young man, you still got time to win a belt. I need it right now. I don't think Henry's going to give way, though. I asked both of these players, what's more important to you? Is it the money or the belt coming into this event? And both of these guys were firm on saying it is about the belt at this point. Henry said he never thought he would say that. But after being so close to winning one of those belts one game away against Sirius Mo, he realized how much it truly does mean to him. And the fact that he has a chance to get one in his first year being eligible the competition is something he wants to accomplish and joke we know it's been about a four or five year journey for him chasing this belt he's been so close so many times and here he is in that same situation once again with the phenom in front of him yeah, seven top tens for joke he's been in the finals a few times and for henry he's like i just got here but i'm not going anywhere see joking Bottom right of your screen, he's rocking that Elite Madden gear. That's his website where him and his guys give you tips and tricks and let you get kind of inside of their minds. Go and check that out at some point. And there's Saquon Barkley. Off to the races. And they won't get him. Touchdown Joke. He strikes first. And this is what we were expecting from Joke. We've seen Noah's run game kind of, you know, be the talk of the tournament but don't forget about joke this was the guy that was number one in running the ball coming into this Madden challenge he's been dominant he doesn't turn the ball over and to start the game off with a big run like that and Saquon Barkley trying to get your way to the semifinals against Henry that's how you do it how will the young phenom respond two plays and then this 72 yard run by Saquon See him, he's on his horse, and he's doing the little scum that I don't like right there, Scott. The switch the ball hand, switch the ball hand. They think it gives him a little extra speed boost. I don't like how it looks, but hey, whatever works for you. There's big money on the line. Whatever's going to get you to the guap. And we were talking about this while the guys were at the desk. I'm a huge Bears fan. You're a huge Pats fan. <laughs> we're here in our final day, and how about it? What a coincidence, huh? Bears and Pats going at it, and Henry's going to get it for the first time. I know Mama Henry's out there rooting for a boy. And Joke's got his fanfare still hanging out in the player's lounge. Got his best friend, Little Man, that he travels with him, does Joke. And Henry's got Mama Henry in the back supporting him. I love how during Henry's winter interview, he said, you know what, I got a text from my mom in the back. She said, I got to give some thanks to God for a lot of this success. And... That just shows what type of family they are, how mature Henry is. Win or lose, I'm sure she's very proud of him. And down goes Murray. It's going to be a loss of seven on the sack. Going to bring up a second and 17. Yeah, Henry, he, he's a passer. He's not really looking to run the ball. He's got the number four pass offense in this entire field of 16 competitors. And, you know, Hollywood Brown's been the guy getting big plays for him. Murray will slide down at the 32, so he gets those seven yards back and makes it a third and ten. I was anticipating what was going to happen when Henry was on offense, and you figure he's been hitting those big plays to Hollywood Brown over and over again. you got to assume Joke being the number two defensive player statistically in the field is going to take that away. So you got to expect Henry to get guys like Largen and Dante Hall involved, checking underneath, getting those yards after the catch. But don't be surprised if he does sneak in one of those deep balls to Hollywood at some point. Third down here for Henry. Fires, it's low, Steve Largent. That's why he's one of the greatest receivers of all time. Had the record for yards before Jerry Rice broke it. 
The statistical machine over here, the Coltrane. And Largen, he's going to be one of those guys. He's not going to destroy you with his speed, but he's going to be able to hold on to that rock in traffic. That's what he did for Henry right there on that big third down. So trailing by a touchdown, but this is his opening possession after Joke ripped off a 72-yard run with Saquon. And this Baltimore playbook, especially with the clear out, can be a real problem. Can't sleep on it. And there's Steve Largen again. Yeah. Cross midfield to the 44. That's what I was talking about, Scott. If you're Henry, this is what you're going to have to do. Joke's going to put a lot of attention on that Hollywood Brown, especially when you send him in motion. That should open up lanes for Largent. Maybe some Dante Hall underneath. He's also got Casper at tight end, who's one of the better tight ends. You can get, move around with Kyler Murray. But Joke's going to play a bend but don't break defense. And Kyler with a spin yeah, move, and Henry's back. out. Give me mine back. And he swerves back. it back inside, and the young man is in the end zone. Right, well, we're talking, Ben, but don't break. Kyler Murray says, I'll break you in half. Gets a little CA spin, gets to the outside, ties up this ball game. And now let's see if the run defense of Henry could bottle up this run game a joke that's been so dominant all challenge long that's a high risk high reward spinning around with your quarterback there in the secondary but this is how he got it done that's actually one of the ca spins scott if you have high agility you see a whoopsie and you run into one of your linemen sometimes they'll give you that contextual awareness animation that automatically spins you off of that lineman gets you into the open field and that's what Henry got right there. That's why I said, give me my spin. He got a very fortunate contextual awareness animation right there when he ran into his lineman. Saquon, back to the ground. Picks up four, going to be a second and six. How about this for two guys going at it? Little Henry, little joke, just in the quarterfinals. I mean, we wouldn't expect anything less, right, between these two guys. These are two of the best players in the world, legit. I know we say that a lot, but statistically right now, they're one and two in those MCS points, so you could consider them the two best players in the world as of right now. And here they are trying to advance to the semifinals of that Madden Challenge in pursuit of their first championship belt, which means so much to these guys, even more so than that $35,000 first place prize. 105 to go on the first. We've already seen two touchdowns, both on the ground. And Murray's going to be sacked up. It's going to be Bradley Chubb getting in there. Kind of heard Joke talk to himself, Scott. He said, I had a touchdown. It looked like the flanker receiver was going to get wide open over the top, but the pressure gets there. And if you're Joke, second and 16, this is not where you want to be. Your offense is not built. He's actually ranked 16th in passing offense out of everybody in this field. But he's clearly looking to keep this ball on the ground. And Saquon pinballing his way to the 50-yard line. It's going to be a first down. He's already over the century mark. That's a, that's a little bit of a stress relief if you're Joke second and 16 and then you're able to just run dive to get the first down right back that's what he needed so at the end of one between henry and joke we are tied at seven apiece just 15 minutes left into this one to find out who is going to be moving on to the semi-final we will crown a champion today pass out the belt for the 17th time since Madden 16, the very first one right here in San Francisco. Down at the Mosaic. They're in Super Bowl 50. That's a nice venue. I remember that. Is that where you... I got a story. Yeah. <laughs> I got a story. We'll wait, we'll wait to see how the game proceeds. Got a couple more games left to put a couple more Madden stories out there that have never been heard. Something that's a funny coincidence. How about both of these guys with Kyler Murray... That quarterback, I believe, just won the Offensive Rookie of the Year award today. How's that for a Quincy Dink? Back to Saquon. This time he's stopped with just a gain of a few, so we got a third and five incoming at the ball at the 44-yard line. 
This is awkward territory if you're a runner. You know, part of you wants to go to the air, but you know it's likely two down territory. Party really does want to run the rock. It looks like Joke's going to look for Hollywood Brown on this streak. Able to pick up the blitz, goes up top, and it's a touchdown for Joke. Just a step past Dunbar, and he regains the lead. And that's that Hollywood Brown, Scott. He doesn't have all the route running. He doesn't have all the catching traffic or catch ratings. But what he does have is that 95 speed, the fastest wide receiver in mud draft. Joke gets a one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Henry focused on the run and press coverage. And Joke lets a laser rip to go and reclaim his lead back up 14-7. Very well played by Rydell Brito, a.k.a. Joke. Well, you don't need great route running when all it is the nine route. It's just go. Just go, baby. I'm going to launch it. Ooh. Derwin, I don't care if he's on conservative. Big hit Derwin. coming in from Derwin James. Derwin. What Joke's saying, I don't care if he's on conservative. Conservative is a coaching adjustment you can set at the play call screen that's going to disable all your ball carrier moves so you can't spin, you can't juke. Literally, if you press the button, it won't work but it significantly lowers your fumble chance. And he does it to the coverage, man. and Allen is there to pick Come it on, off. Come on, man. Come on. Don't make me fumble like the classic. And Joke, he is number two in pass defense, and right there, he just baited Henry. And that's humongous because not only does he get the turnover, he gets the turnover in Henry territory. Well already having a lead, Scott. So one has to think Joke's going to at least be able to make this two possessions. Still outside of field goal range here on a second and seven. 2.52 to go in the half. Up by a touchdown over Henry. It's Joke. Got Saquon. He will dot the eye with Cook at fullback. Gets a block but can't get outside. Would have been one man to beat if he could have got free. If you're Henry, you'll take a tackle for loss. Trying to knock Joke out of this field goal range. Joke's going to take this to the two-minute warning. It's going to be the 11th play of the game coming up offensively for Joke. Eight of those have been on the ground. He's a runner. I mean, he, he's really just been focusing his craft on running the ball. He's number one in rushing yards per game, rushing attempts per game. And, and this is the game plan he's committed to. This is going to be a maximum field goal here. It is up, and it is just over the bar. That's enough to make it a two-score game. Not, let's not look how pass, how perfect Joke kicked that. He got full power and perfect accuracy. What she needed to likely hit that long field goal. I mean, we call these guys Madden pros for a reason, and part of it is because they do all those little things very well, uh, especially, you know, knocking down those long field goals. That was a 55-yarder. And that's the longest we've seen so far in the tournament. Murray. To the outside, and Dante steps out of bounds at the 38. Here comes a second and three. Desperately needs a score, even a field goal here. And if you're Joke Scott, you'll give up those little dump downs. Oh, big sack. You'll give up those dump downs to Dante Hall and Largent. The key is clicking on and making the tackle after that catch. You, can, you can't let those three or four yard gains turn into 15, 20 yard gains because you miss a tackle. Joke had a big tackle, followed by a sack, and now he has Henry third and nine. Murray in the pocket. Steps up and throws. The galloping ghost hauls it in at the 47-yard line. Two timeouts remaining. Clock on the move. Casper, James Cove's former boss, as he told us that story yesterday, and Hall of Famer, and yeah, Probably the best tight end in the entire mode. I think when they're running highlights on NFL films, that James Coe does not even show up. I think it's the other accolades first. But for us, <laughs> he's Jimmy Coe's boss. <laughs> 30 seconds ago, great job getting out of bounds, preserving those two timeouts.
You see right now on the play call screen, Dante Hall extremely tired for Henry. So Henry taking his time to pick that play, letting his receiver get some breath. Yes, if you wait at the play call screen, it allows your players to rejuvenate some energy, and that's what Henry did there. And it's Give picked up by Devin man. Bush. One of the fastest linebackers in the game. Closes down and makes the play. Joke is just throwing out the bait, and Henry is biting on it. Two user lurks from the number two defensive player in the field. He's got all the momentum right now. Hands it off. And a rare base player sighting. You don't see those guys And I'm not talking there. about slapping the base. <laughs> We're not talking guitar. And I think he just wanted to take this to halftime, but he's going to use a timeout here. One, one last, one last run. Try to break it to the crib. If you're Henry. You're in goal line. You got to be careful here. If he gets to that second level, he could be outy. Not using Saquon here. Back to Geis one more time. See if he takes it to halftime, and he will. He's satisfied with a 10-point lead here at the half. It's joke 17, Henry 7 here at the half. James? Thank you, Scott. All right, fellas, be sure to tune in to ESPN2 on Sunday, February 9th at noon for a fast-paced one-hour special devoted to the Madden NFL 20 Challenge. The show will be jam-packed with the most memorable moments, exclusive interviews, and behind-the-scenes access. That's Sunday, February 9th at noon Eastern on ESPN2. All right, let's get it back to Scott Cole and RG. Thank you, James. Good first half if you're a joke fan. Plenty of time left if you're rooting for Henry. I agree completely, Scott. You, oh, you're down 10 points, which isn't cool. But you have an explosive offense with your passing attack if you're Henry. You're getting the ball to start the second half. And you don't even need a touchdown on this drive, Scott. Even a field goal to make it one possession, put some pressure back on Joke, would get you into a good spot, especially after throwing two interceptions if you're the young hen dog. What you can't do right now is not get any points. Kyler Murray, a little hesitation. It'll get outside to the 47. That's across midfield. Big play on the first play of the second half. That's humongous, Scott. It gets him close to field goal range, and more importantly, he's doing it in a hurry. Because remember, Joke's offense just drains the clock. When you got that run-first type of offense, you really control the game and limit your opponent's possessions. So for Henry to open up this half eight seconds in and be about 10, 15 yards away from field goal range to make this one possession, that's a big deal. It's the type of things he needs to do if he's going to want to get back into this one. Motions out, Brown. Murray trying to find the pocket. And can't get out of there. It's going to be a sack by McCain. That'll be his second. And it's going to be a loss of three. I know he took a sack right there, Henry did. But the way he's moving around with Murray, trying to buy time, not forcing it down the field right there. This young man's known for having some of the best pocket presence amongst his peers in the entire community. And... Even though he got sacked, some of it was on display right there because he did buy himself a decent amount of time. Everything was just bottled up. Quick throw. Caught by Hollywood at the 36. It's going to be a first down. Just a minute gone by here in the second half. Henry already in field goal range, too. Now you have to protect this football. Oh, and a big hit from James. It's a quarterback. Joke just needs to know that's not coming, bro. The thing is, if Joke lands that hit stick user, it's going to significantly increase the chance to cause that fumble. Getting those hit sticks from the AI can cause a fumble, but it's going to be nowhere close that chance, that fumble chance, than if you do it yourself. Joke needs to do is try to land one of those user hit sticks. Easier said than done, though, especially with the agile Kyle Murray running around. Murray once again, three man rush. He does click in. Smartly done by Joke, and there's Bush. 
to wrap them up. We're going to have a third and nine and coming. And when Scott says he does click in, what that is is the spy crash mechanic. If you click in the right stick mid-play, it's going to take your QB spy, uh, the closest defender to the quarterback, and tell him, hey, just go after that quarterback. That's what Joke did and was rewarded with a sack. There's the heat, and it pushes him out of field goal range. Oh, no, Scott. The one thing Henry couldn't allow happen, he allows to happen. Joke dials it up at the perfect time. Now he's forcing Hendog to go for it on fourth down. Ball at the 40. Needs to get to the 26. After the big sack. All once again, watch out for Brown. And he's going to run with it. Maybe the hesitation cost him. Oh, there was man. no way he was getting 14 there. I don't know what happened right there. Young Henry just a bad sequence of downs. He knows it. He knows that he is a smart player. You cannot allow the sack on third down. On fourth down, you don't even get the ball in the air. You kind of do a throwaway run with Kyler. And this is what we talked about, Scott. The, the thing that's so critical is Joke is just going to run this ball and continue to milk this clock. Worst case scenario, even if he doesn't pick up a first down and three downs, he's going to be able to take two minutes off the clock with this 40-second play clock. Ten carries for 115. That's math I can do. That's 11.5 a carry for Saquon. And we're going to see a lot of 26 here the rest of the way for Joe. Let's see how stingy he gets with this play clock. You see it at about 10 seconds right now. If you joke, you really shouldn't be snapping it until it's way down. See, he snapped it at 10 seconds. Uh, in this situation, you, re you really want to let that go all the way down, really limit Henry's possessions. He could have pretty much been close to taking this to the fourth quarter, but he knows what he's doing up there. Third and five. Coming up on a minute to go in the third. Scott Cole and RG along with you here from San Francisco. We'll be passing out a belt here a few hours from now, and that's thrown into coverage. Clock will stop, 57 seconds, and he's going to have to get his boot out. Ah, that's bad by me. Yeah, you hear it, Joe. He says, that's bad by me, and he knows he did not manage that situation very well. He should have been pretty much taking it into the fourth quarter by the end of that possession. Worst case scenario, punt it. Henry has no much time. Now he had a punt anyway. And Henry gets the ball with 52 seconds in the third quarter. That was mismanaged right there from Joke. Let's see if it comes back to bite him later on. Good punt. He's able to flip the field at least. And now Henry with another chance. Going on top. He says he's got him. And no. Brown trying to make a one-handed grab. That ball hung up there forever. And Hollywood Brown, he can burn him, but you see him tries a one-hand catch. He's not going to be able to make a ton of those. And Henry's been relying on that throughout this tournament. Not relying, but a lot of his big plays have come from Hollywood Brown not, and, you know, getting those long touchdowns, not having to put long drives together. And when you can't get that happening, it's frustrating. Murray once again. little patience. Works his way out to the 42. Nine carries for 122 for Murray. What's critical, Scott, is he has an unconservative uh, coaching adjustment, like we said, but he's also holding that RB button to cover the ball when he runs with Kyler Murray. So Henry doing everything he can to make that fumble chance as low as possible when he runs with that quarterback. Finds Dante Hall but can't stay on his feet. Even lost the yard. Let's call it second and ten and a half. And that'll take us to the fourth quarter. 17-7 as we head to the final five minutes in this one. It's the fourth quarter presented by Snickers. I dig because suddenly people think it's okay to talk on speakerphone in public. What was that? Oh, nothing. Just some lady digging a giant hole. Well, you know, Henry's digging a huge hole while little man really enjoying his buddy joke up 10 with just five minutes to go. Would love to see his friend joke get his first belt.
That's not just his friend, that's his best friend, Scott. They're, they're friends in the Madden world, they're friends in real life. And I, it, trust me, Joke wants that belt bad, but they're such good friends. Little Man probably wants Joke to win that belt as much as Joke wants it. He's there to support. And these are guys that have been around for a long time, since before the MCS era. So for them to be doing it as long as they have been on such a high level just speaks to the type of Madden players they are. Two legends, legends in the community. Henry getting vertical, picks up the first down. Cross midfield at the 43. And Murray steps out to 37. So we got a 17-7 ball game. You get down here and you get a score, especially if it's quickly. Really, you put some pressure on Joe. If you're Henry right now, you're still very much in this ball game. You have all three timeouts. Back and field goal range, and it takes another sack. He needs to stop doing this, Scott. He's having every opportunity to make this a one possession ball game, but he just keeps taking sacks when he can't allow it. Bunch to the right, third and 12. Murray, quick throw, and Dante somehow still has the football at the 32. It's a first down. Big play by the hand dog. Gets himself back in field goal range, picks up the first down. Joke laid a wonderful user hit stick, but it wasn't enough. And a rare run to Christian McCaffrey. That's the first time he touched the ball. This is back and forth, back and forth. Henry will not go away. Relentless in his attack to stay into this ball game. And gonna get sacked once again. And RG, you gotta do something before the two minute warning. It's gotta be a three. If you can get in the end zone, that's great, but you gotta somehow put pressure on before the two. That's a good point. Well, on third and seven, this may dictate a lot of that, Scott. Murray. And he's gonna be sacked up, and that's right around the danger zone for the field goal. He's gonna rush the field goal unit out. Kick is up, and it is good. So we got a one-score game, 2.24 to go. He's got all three timeouts and the two-minute warning. Tony, I'm going to go out of bounds because of you, Tony. The joke shouting out straight is... Straight out of bounds, Tony. This guy, young Tony. And the reason he's doing that, he says, I'm not risking a fumble right here. I am going to run out of bounds. I'm not even going to think about getting hit-sticked on this return. Well, we've seen that happen even all the way back to Madden 18. And this very challenge, when Drini laid a couple hit sticks on Kiv. Jokes had special teams bite him in the butt in big games before. You remember against Problem in that final four, Madden 17. Yeah, when you're playing for the Guap, take all the variables out that you can. For sure. Especially when you got the lead. I would have liked to see Henry use his timeout right there before the two minute warning. He could have saved himself about 15 seconds. But nonetheless, it's gonna come down to can Henry lock up or can Joe convert a first down or two? And move on. Look at the focus of both of those players, Scott. Murray goes to Barkley and Another stop by Henry, and all of a sudden, here comes third down, third and nine. Is the biggest play of the game that we've seen thus far. Who's going to clutch up? Is it going to be the New Jersey native joke or the young one from Chicago? And there's the timeout. Joke says whatever, but Henry's going to get another chance. It feels like he's got opportunity after opportunity to get back in the game, and here's the ultimate one. Boots it away. Dante can't get over there. Takes it on a hop, Come though. On. Come on. Big Come return. On. And forced out of bounds at the 44. He's got plenty of time and one timeout, RG. I mean, mistakes by Joke. Letting it go on special teams right there. The human joystick gets a big punt return. And I can't help but think about that 52 seconds that Joke left Henry with. You know what I'm saying? In the third quarter. 
Because if you minus 52 <laughs> seconds right now from that 145, it's almost an impossible task for Henry. Now he's got 145, one timeout, and all the offensive firepower in the world to get this done. Question is Willie. Murray gets it outside. Hall runs away from Sertan and then gets out of bounds at the 33. How about that? That's what you have to do if you're Henry. Choke's going to protect that Hollywood Brown deep ball. It's going to open things up for Dante Hall. But as this field shortens and he gets closer to that red zone, those windows are going to get a lot tighter. Henry down by a touchdown. Ball at the 33. 140 to go. One of these guys is going to be moving on to the semifinal. Just a few hours from now. Murray, quick throw, and Steve Largent doing Largent things right at the 21-yard line. Beautiful, beautiful read from Henry. He sees the corner pressed up. That tells you one thing. He's probably in deep zone, so I'm going to throw a deep dig, throw it on the cut. That was a beautiful play by Hen. Uses his legs, and now he's all the way down to the nine-yard line. Still has a timeout first and goal. Your joke, you need to start considering maybe using some timeout so you give yourself a chance to have some time if Henry would be able to score. Murray, one more time here for Henry. Throws it into the end zone and Casper had game it for a moment. Pick. That's what he just threw, a game losing pick. The big fella had him boxed out. It was a risky throw. We, uh, we've seen Casper make plays. Henry, you know, gave him a chance. Game of inches, 42 seconds, Scott. This is what it's about. Second and goal now. Still does have that one timeout in his back pocket. Murray. He's going to use his legs, and he could have walked in. I know you don't want to fumble, so he slides down at the six. Clock's on the move. Yeah, it's ticking. It's ticking, Scott. He doesn't have a whole lot of time. Here comes the runoff. Takes him to 20 seconds left in the ball game. Third and goal. Murray, he's going to run it again. And now you got to use a timeout and come up with your best play. He's going to use this extra time to think about the play he's going to run. Then he's going to call timeout. And he's going to have to draw something up. It's going to be fourth and goal from the five. Three seconds remaining in the game. It's either overtime or jokes moving on. Would you expect anything else or less from the one and two players in the NCS circuit for it to come down to the final play with three seconds left? Here we go. Fourth down. Final chance here for Henry. What has the youngster got? Murray got to get a ribbon quick, and Dante can't get there. Let's go. Let's go Joke's going to win the ball game. What a ball game, and look at the show of respect.